大家好，我是李露，十八岁。<笑> Remember when Shane made a video a few months back about the tiny form factor EVGA GTX 1060? He thought that it would fulfill all his computing needs since we're not going to be playing any games as we're about to get serious with YouTube content creation. Well, we're about to make him eat his words. Recently, there has been a lot of controversy surrounding the Malaysian release of Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Our censorship board decided to cut out roughly four minutes of footage that they deemed too gay to be screened.、Oh、while Disney was like, "Screw it." We're just going to pull it out. That's what she said. We made a music video covering the Chinese version of the movie's theme song in collaboration with the talented Che Xiaopu, Xiao Panda, that you can watch here. It's a dream as well. We rolled with two separate cameras from different manufacturers and shot some green screen footage. Against our best judgment, <laughs> as some of you may already know, matching colors from different cameras as well as keen green screen can be a total <laughs> and a huge drain on computing resources. We were already rocking an X99 system with the i7-5960X and 64 gigs of DDR4 RAM. So, frankly speaking. We were quite dumbfounded by the long render times we were getting. After hours of frustration from playing the waiting game with the computer, we decided to borrow our friend Jason's GTX 1070 to see if it would do a better job. To our surprise, we saw quite a significant increase in performance.、Yay! Just like Disney, we said screw it, took the car, drove straight to Laoyat. And got ourselves the newest, the greenest, the bad boy on the block. Hard it was to track down one of these in Malaysia. I mean, it was sold out everywhere. C Zone didn't have it. All IT didn't have it. ViewNet didn't have it. Semua tara. <sighs> This thing was as rare as a Malaysian driver who has never kena saman before. <laughs> We managed to find a unit at Jayacom because the original buyer ran into some issues with his credit card. He's lost our game. Games for days. Hashtag games for days. <laughs> I like the mid-range GTX 1060 and 1070. The 1080 Ti uses a GP102 graphics core, the same one that came with the Pascal Titan X. With a 3,700 ringgit price tag here in Malaysia, or $700 in the US, this beast of a graphics card boasts a beautiful matte black backplate. This Founders Edition 1080 Ti sports the sleek and iconic look of the Nvidia Pascal lineup. It also adopts the new vapor chamber cooling system. It has both the six-pin and eight-pin PCI Express power delivery. Three DisplayPort 1.4, one HDMI 2.0. The DVI port has been removed for additional ventilation. As we're primarily content creators, we're gonna show you some benchmarks based on real-life situations we face every day while editing videos. Here we have some of the more popular synthetic benchmarks out there. We have Luxmark 2.0, 3.0, Cinebench, GPU Test, and CompuBench. As you can see, the 1080 Ti kicks major ass in all those tests. This is the scene that we used for the After Effects benchmarks. 
as we didn't have proper lighting for the green screen, a lot of correction in post had to be done to get it to work. As a result, it churned through GPU power pretty hard. While rendering out in 4K, the 1080 Ti is about 6% faster than the 1070 and 12% faster than the 1060. For 1080p though, it's about 4% faster than the 1070 and 9% faster than the 1060. In Premiere Pro though, we notice a significantly larger performance gap. While rendering preview in a sequence with both ProRes 422 and XAVCS footage, the 1080 Ti is about 22% faster than the 1070 and 47% faster than the 1060. Similar results were observed while exporting the sequence out to 1080p H.264. It was about 10% faster than the 1070 and 30% faster than the 1060. This is perhaps evidence that After Effects is less optimized for GPU usage than Premiere Pro. If you want to look at gaming benchmarks, do check out some of our favorite tech tubers, such as Poles Hardware, Bitwit, Hardware Canucks, JZ Two Cents, and Crypt. That's all, folks. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And we'll see you next time.